Our first comedian, you're going to like him, is a regular here. He's all around Manhattan. Give it up, some love for the one and only Jeff Simon! Hey, keep it going for Scott, one of the top sports lawyers on the East Coast. I use him for all my divorces. He gives me 10% off. Uh, right, right after this set, I'll be committing a crime. I, I'm either going to be holding up a Rite Aid, a 7-Eleven, or a gas station. And with the Blasio, nobody's going to jail for the next four years. Uh, yeah. They say things are going to be like they were in the 80s, you know? That's why I voted for them. I can't wait, you know? And, uh, I used to, like, uh, buy some Coke on 10th Avenue, uh, pick up a hookup by the Lincoln Tunnel, Go home and play with my kids and have sex with my wife. Those were the glory days, the 80s. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, I'm a Jew from New York. Grew up in the 50s. Uh, my favorite Jew on the Yankees was uh, the general manager. Uh, we finally got a Jew in the 70s, Ronnie Bloomberg, who's going to be the Jewish Mickey Mantle. Uh, unfortunately, he turned out to be a piece of shit. Uh, my first wife was a shiksa. A shiksa is a girl who loves to have a good time, uh, will show you her titties on the first date, and who your mother will hate because she's a Jew. Uh, the best deal I ever made was marrying a shiksa because we had three kids. None of them got by mitzvah. I made a hundred grand on that deal. Uh, we got we got married by a priest and a rabbi. Uh, the priest didn't want to marry us uh, until I showed him some naked pictures of my eight-year-old nephew. Uh, then, he, then he gave me a high five, said, I'll, uh, I'll do your ceremony if you let me keep the pictures. I said, okay. I had, extra, I had extra copies in case I wanted to jerk off to these pictures. Uh, my, my second wife was a uh, shiksa who loved martinis. When she had more than two, her true feelings came out. Like she hated my guts because I didn't have a 10 inch cock like the guy she was with before me. Uh, we got divorced 12 years ago. I, I would have uh, would have got divorced sooner, but my father-in-law told me if I ever divorced his daughter, I'd be dog food. I, I said to this guy, can't you just kill me? I, I don't want to be some uh, a can of apple that shit out some uh, by some schnauzer, you know? He says, no, you're going to be dog food. He hated me because I was a Jew. I, I, I had to wait for this motherfucker to die. <laughs> um, I usually get to the mall every day around 11 o'clock. Uh, they have the section where the old people sit. Uh, I, I, like to, I like to make eye contact uh, you know, with uh, the hot, looking, hot, hot young looking woman that walk by. Once in a while, uh, I, get a, you know, I get a smile back, you know. It's tough, it's tough picking up chicks uh, these days, you know, it really is. Uh, I know I'm getting old, but I hate it when the bitches at Dunkin' Donuts automatically give me the senior discount, you know? And I hate when people call me Grandpa Huxtable. Uh, and I hate when people drive behind me, uh, blow their horn and give me the finger because I think I'm some old guy driving slow. Uh, yesterday I yelled out my window, fuck you, I'm high on weed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've been jerking off. I've been jerking off more than ever lately. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's with a soft dick. <laughs> but it's it's as good as ever. It's as great as ever. Uh, when I was a kid, the only magazine that had naked women was the uh, National Geographic. <laughs> yeah, all you people got to do is click a button. You know. <laughs> Last night, I I clicked on this uh, chicks with dicks website uh, by accident. Uh, okay, this chick was really hot looking, and I was gonna jerk off to I was gonna jerk off to her, but I was too tired. I I just jerked off to this uh, my my eight year old nephew's naked pictures. You know, um, I, all I used to care about were big t were big tits and big asses. Now I, now I get turned on by how much property a woman owns. Uh, like the best time to meet a woman is when her husband dies. <laughs> Uh, I know this woman, she has a summer house in the Hamptons. Uh, I was in the ICU when they pull a plug on her husband's respirator. Uh, sometimes it takes a while, you know. <laughs> uh, if I can't make it to the ICU, I'll be at the funeral, you know. 
Uh, the only problem is you got to put up with these cock-blocking kids who are, <laughs> who are saying like stupid shit to their mom like, uh, when can we sell the house and put you in a nursing home? Uh, uh, I had a date with a woman I met on Match.com who lied about her age. She was supposed to be 50, she was in her 80s. Uh, I couldn't get a wheelchair in my car. I couldn't get it to fold up, you know. And um, she gave me the worst blowjob I've ever gotten in my life. And she wanted to know if I was going to take a rat again. I said, uh, we'll have to take Accessoride. I, I can't spend all night getting your chair in my car. Uh, this, this woman on Match emailed me. And I clicked on her profile, her body type, as I'll tell you later. <laughs> oh, what is that going to be? Uh, after I bought you steak at Del Frisco's? <laughs> and um, she has like, she has three kids living at home. She's never been married. And she doesn't tr touch a drop of alcohol, which means she's an alcoholic. <laughs> Drink up, guys. You guys are uh, doing a good job here. Uh, I had a date with this 35-year-old woman Saturday night who had the most incredible ass I've ever seen in my life. And she's one of the smartest chicks I've ever met. She knows that Jeter's number two, A-Rod's 13, and Shaq used to be 34. She should know these numbers. She's, she's had sex with these guys. She's a fucking hoa. I, I asked her to move in with me. She wants a $100,000 line of credit and a weekly allowance. Uh, I called up my son... He lives in Chicago, he makes a million dollars a year, he sells mutual funds. I said, I need a hundred grand right away. He hung up on me. I don't know what his fucking problem is. Whenever I ask him for a hundred grand, he hangs up on me. You know, I called him back and I said, uh, uh, I'll pay back as soon as I get, you know, as soon as I get my first HBO special. He says, I'm not giving you a hundred dollars, a hundred grand for so a hooker can move in with you. <laughs> He's the cheapest Jew I've ever met. He just bought his girlfriend a $20,000 engagement ring. I am not going to the wedding. Fuck. Uh, I, did a lot, I did a lot of coke in the 80s. What, what a great drug. Every joke killed on coke. Uh, I wish I had some right now. Every woman I ever fucked on coke was grateful. I used to love to play basketball. If somebody had the ball, I would say, give me the fucking ball or I will kill you. <laughs> used to play a lot of, uh, used to get into a lot of fights on coke. I never lost a fight on coke, I was undefeated. <laughs> my best win was a come from behind victory against my mother-in-law. <laughs> I was ready to throw in a towel in the 11th round when I told her to shut the fuck up, you fat bitch. <laughs> She started to cry and shut the fuck up. I couldn't believe it. Getting her to shut the fuck up was the biggest thrill I, I ever had on coke. Um, this is a true story, by the way. Uh, I had a, I was smoking a joint outside this bar the other night, and when he got inside, I must have smelled like weed. Because uh, this guy, whose girlfriend looks like a Fox News Channel anchor, and he had a copy of the Second Amendment in his back pocket. Uh, he's staring at me. He says, I smell marijuana. The typical asshole Republican. You know, I said, I got two words for you, motherfucker. Government regulation. That's the worst thing you could say to a Republican. It's worse than telling him to go fuck himself. Uh, I, I just bought this unbelievable weed. It's 500 an ounce. This shit is so unbelievable. It, doesn't, uh, it makes you high as a kite and doesn't fuck you up. You can get money out of an ATM on a first try. <laughs> and it's, and, hey, this guy Frank is a great guy. I'm you, he is a great <laughs> fucking guy. He's I'll awesome. Say anything. Yeah, yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> and uh, what was I gonna say? You get money out of an ATM on a first try, and it makes you horny. I, I had to pull over on the shoulder of the Garden State Parkway the other day just to jerk off. <laughs> I tell you, it was really embarrassing getting a ticket for jerking off with your grandkids in the back seat. That's <laughs> <laughs> great, I'm telling you. With one minute, okay. Uh, I, I had to fly down to uh, Texas for my grandson's one year old birthday. Uh, I, I took Spirit Airlines, it's half the price of any airline that goes down there. I don't want to sound racist, uh, Kenny, but I, I was the only white guy in a plane. 
I mean, the flight crew was selling nickel bags and bootleg DVDs. I mean, they were serving 40 ounce beer. It was the only beverage. And uh, every, every time they opened a laboratory door, somebody was taking a shit. For some reason, these people do not lock the door. I, tell you, I used to hate to go down to Texas because you can't bring weed down there. You know, I don't want to get arrested, but somebody turned me on to weed lozenges. Uh, these things are great. I started, as soon as I got on a plane, I started popping them one after the other, like cough drops. After about an hour, I was the most fucked up I've ever been in my life. I could not make it to the laboratory, and I had to take this wicked shit, because I just had 50 bags of peanuts. Um, and when I, got, when I got to this one-year-old birthday party, I started popping these lozenges again. I didn't give a shit, because there were a uh, hundred babies there, and they were all being like coddled and worshipped. It was unbelievable. You know, these babies are caught up. It's, it's unbelievable. I felt like telling these parents, well, this worshiping is not going to do your kid any good, you know? Because unfortunately, they got your DNA. <laughs> and when they grow up, they're going to be just as fucked up as you are. Thank you very much. I'm going to be back to the great Scott. <laughs> All right, let's hear it. Come on, guys. Let's hear it. That's right.